Hello everybody, welcome to Lee Twine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco and uh, we're here in another edition of the show. We've got um, something you can find just about everywhere. This is kind of one of those tried and true things uh, when it comes to Chianti. It's 2007 Gabbiano Chianti. Um, this is uh, from the Tuscany region of Italy, as all Chianti must be. And um, you know what? I literally have never had this because I've always associated it with just kind of ugh, uh, Chianti. Um, so I'm actually, you know, intrigued to, to try it. Um, I've read some reviews online and it seems to get pretty good reviews. So uh, $6.99 at HEB, by the way, uh, which you already see on, on the lower third, but $6.99 on eight, at HEB. And just regular HEB, like we got at the regular grocery store, means you can find this everywhere. You can find it all over the place. So let's check it out. I like when tasting notes say that you're supposed to smell something, and you do smell it. Now, um, and it wasn't just one tasting note. It's not like the official, I mean, lots of tasting notes said cherries. And you know what? I do get cherries. I'll seem to get some chocolate in there, too. Someone noted medicinal, and I can kind of see that. Uh, but I do get the cherries, get a little chocolate. Um, they mentioned floral, which I don't get any floral. So, let's go ahead and taste it. So definitely, um, you're definitely getting that cherry play, that cherry action on the palate. Um, so you get a little bit of sweetness. Um, you got some good tannins going on. Um, so definitely, you know, it's not it's not like sugary sweet, but you're getting that sweetness. Um, it's basic. It's there's nothing. Um, I wouldn't call it an outstanding wine as far as like you know life changing. But you know what? Seven dollars, something that you would drink on a daily basis, or maybe not daily, but you know something you would have in, in your in your house to uh, have for everyday drinking. And it's not just the cherries. I'm getting a little bit of, I guess, leather. Yeah, makes it reminds me of um, down here in San Antonio. They got the El Mercado, El Mercado, okay, and which means the market in Spanish. Um, but it's a but it's a, a defined spot where there's lots of different things going on, uh, and there's several places that sell um, leather goods, and it kind of reminds me of that. Um, you know, being a kid going down there. Um, seeing all the like the leather wallets and and the leather boots and uh, all the you know saddle bags and all that kind of stuff, so I, I did get a little bit of leather on that too. Um, you know what? It's serviceable. It's pretty decent. I'd give it an 86. Um, I chose this wine specifically today because I'm going to be making some pasta tonight, so I figured it might go really well with the pasta. Um, so yeah, uh, let's talk about Gabbiano real quick. Um, if you look at the label, it says established. Uh, 1124. The castle itself was established back then. Now, as far as how long they've been doing wine, I really can't tell. Um, it doesn't really say anything as far as how, when they started making wine, but um, I, needless to say, they've been making wine in the Tuscan area for Tuscany area for a long time. So they could have been making wine since then. Um, the makeup of this. From their website, uh, they, there's there's 85% Sangiovese, which uh, the law requires at least 80% of Sangiovese for any Chianti. Um, this is regular Chianti, it's not Chianti Classico or Classico Reserva, um, but to be called Chianti, you have to have at least 80% Sangiovese. Um, according to various places, uh, it, this actual wine does have amount, small amounts of uh, Can, uh, Canialo, uh, Malvasia, and uh, Triviano. 
So I don't know what the percentages are. I can't really find that. Um, and this is fermented six months in stainless steel and then aged six months in uh, in oak, which is the has, uh, county has to be aged for at least four to seven months in oak. And um, that's really it for today's wine. Uh, you're going to see probably some changes coming up probably today with the website. Uh, I think I'm going to just kind of give all the affiliate ads a boot because uh, honestly, I've had, I think, 10 total clicks on all the affiliate ads and nobody's bought anything. Um, so no big deal. Uh, I'm probably going to keep the Google ads working because, you know, they seem to have some different, you know, some things that are kind of interesting sometimes. Um, and I actually do get some clicks on those. So I think I'll, I'll re not replace all of them with Google ads, but I'll have a few more Google ads here and there. Um, I should be, uh, hopefully there's an article that will be posted today. Uh, so look for, uh, look for the information on Twitter. I'm going to hopefully start writing for an online uh, news service here in San Antonio. And uh, I'll be finishing up that article today. Uh, I don't know if it will be posted today or tomorrow, but uh, deadline's today. So uh, look for that. Uh, follow me on Twitter because uh, I'll definitely announce it on Twitter. And uh, follow me up on Twitter, Facebook. You send me an email, make comments. Um, every once in a while somebody makes a comment. And I do you know, try to look for those comments. So leave a comment. Let me know how you like it. Uh, tomorrow we got Summit A School. Uh, question. For everybody, because not everyone watches Sommelier A School, should I make it like a regular school year thing? So maybe this week will be the end of the summer semester. Really, just because to go to the next comp, to go to the next subject, which would stay in France, would probably take two more weeks. Or maybe I do two more weeks and then take a break until September 3rd or 10th and start the fall semester. Give me your thoughts on that. I really like to know. I think it's a great idea. All right, time's up. I'll see you again next time. Thanks for watching.